everybody. <clears throat> What's going on? Warriors, Warrior Man here. Let me respond to the, um, the feeding frenzy that's taking place out in the digital la-la land. Kevin, it's been a long time, and this is what I've got for you, buddy. You know, it's interesting to me that uh, such a big, strong, powerful, tough guy as yourself is so damn sensitive to some truth. I mean, for years, you and the other guys, you go out there, you make up lies, you tell lies, trying to destroy my reputation personally and professionally. It just seems like after all this time that you would be a little bit more open-minded, maybe even friendly to hearing some truths told about yourself. Because the challenge that you offer me doesn't change the truth about what I said. And that's what's most important about this video I'm recording and what I want to say. Everybody in the business, everybody from the top talent all the way down to the ring crew, hell, even the people that work the concession stands at the arenas, they know what kind of two-bit, two-faced, backstabbing manipulator you are. They know what kind of conniver you are. They know what kind of phony motherfucker you are. They know what kind of wicked, nasty, dirty means you will go to to hold on to your spot in an organization, holding other young guys down, keeping them from their chance at their own success. Everybody knows, Kevin, that you're a cheater and a thief, afraid to compete on merits alone. This isn't in dispute. Even your friends, those you call your friends, know this about you. Nobody is taking the stand in your defense. The only reason you have a job at WWE is because you've got a good friend over there, your good friend Polly, one of the original members of the clique. And everybody knows, again, everybody from the top talent to the ring crew, to the people that work the concession stand, they know that he's the same kind of vile, contemptible human being that you are, and that he has operated his life and his business in sports entertainment the same way that you have. That he's envious and he's petty and he's done everything within his means, and he's got some pretty powerful fucking means, I will have to admit that. He's done everything within his means to hold other young, promising talent down totally just snuff out entirely their chance at having success in the business. I want to correct you about something you said because I want the record to be straight. I don't talk shit about the boys. The young guys, those are the ones I consider the boys. They don't get any criticism from me. They get the level of respect and admiration they deserve as they go about trying to make their own way in a very tough and challenging business. I do, though, tell the truth and call absolute bullshit on guys like you, guys who have had their time in the business, had their runs in the business, had great success in the business, and are still in the business beyond their time to be there. Hogging the limelight, scheming politically to hold their spot, devouring a huge chunk of the talent budget and thereby robbing the boys, the young guys, their chance at succeeding in the business on their own, in their own right, by their own merits. And I stand by what I said before. Let me personalize it for you. Pack your fucking gear bag, Kevin. Do the right thing and take your ass home. Now, I went back through the videos I've done over the last few years, a lot of them, not all of them, and I looked at the commentary, some of them that I've, the commentaries I posted and the comments I made, and I didn't find any place where I ever said I had a dream to be an MMA fighter or that I was training to be an MMA fighter or that I trained in the style as MMA fighters do. So that part of your challenge is a little odd and confusing, considering that, you know, because I'm into exercise and fitness for all these years and in a hardcore way, that I... I'm totally aware of the long-term, intense, uh, and disciplined training that goes into preparing for something like that. Um, I mean, let's face it, Kevin. 
you're in the business that is a work for the same reason that I'm not pounding my chest, cutting ultimate warrior promos, that I'm the baddest motherfucker on the planet. Because both of us would have our asses completely handed to us by nearly every MMA fighter that is out there on any MMA card. Now, if you're serious that you want to play by MMA rules, I got to ask myself why it is that you're waiting around and you're not doing that. My suggestion would be that you pack your gear bag and go home and then maybe pick up the phone and call Brock or uh, call Dana White directly and see if they can accommodate you in fulfilling your fantasy because I am not, not by the timeline and the terms that you've offered anyway you know the saddest part about your offer is well the money i know that that's not a revelation to anybody because i have a reputation for always being on top of my money or paying particular attention to money side of things and you know there are a lot of mischaracterizations out there about me that um will never be cured, but there is one that doesn't exist. And it is that I learned my money business well, and I practice it even better. In fact, you did an interview some time ago where you were complimenting me about that and saying nearly the exact same thing that I'm saying now. So I, I just wonder how you came up with the silly ass idea that I would ever be interested in going back to any kind of ring for the chump change that you've offered. Or, if I'm understanding this thing correctly, or that I would put my own money up sort of as an entry fee to participate in an event um, where only other people are going to profit. And I'm pretty goddamn sure that those other people can't be trusted to begin with. Um, I think the thing to do, based on what you've actually offered, is, is that you should keep your money because you need it worse than I do. But if you want to set a date several months into the future so that I can employ the intense and disciplined training that I'm known for, that I use to succeed in the business at a higher level than any of you guys, and you have some investors who want to put some big money up, and let me be clear about that right now so people don't think that I'm leading them on, let me just say that adding one zero to the figure that you've offered isn't going to buy my interest. <clears throat> if you have investors that can come up with big money to get my interest, I will happily oblige you in your challenge. Happily. One other condition of the deal would be that the negotiations are open to the public so they can see exactly what takes place. If that doesn't work for you, then my advice is this. It's best that you keep your distance from me. Because if you touch me, different than you may fantasize about, you're not going to enjoy the outcome or consequences. And because you have to work at the job you have, neither are you going to be able to afford them. If you decide not to heed that advice, then you should come prepared to kill me, Kevin, because I will never, ever, never, ever apologize to you or any man for simply speaking the truth. So there you go, Kevin. I have assisted you in being relevant for the last 48 hours. You're going to have to go out on your own from here on out. In fact, this is the last time I'm ever going to defend myself or defend the better man that I have become in my life to anybody in the business. Anybody in the business today or anybody in the business that I worked with before.
None of you are worth it. And I'm done doing it. Now, now, if you'll excuse me, I have a very real and a very wonderful life to get back to.